Harvey's catastrophic flooding is an all too familiar scene for victims of Hurricane Katrina. Many people were flooded out 12 years ago, were forced to evacuate once again. Houston was nicknamed New Orleans of the West after taking in so many evacuees back in 2005. And many chose just to stay in that city. Now they may be forced to move again. Adriana Diaz is at the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center, that's in Dallas, which will house evacuees from Houston. Adriana, good morning. Good morning. The convention center is prepared to welcome 5,000 evacuees from Houston, and there's a good chance that for some, they're going through this ordeal for a second time in a second city. Pretty much the same thing, you know. It's pretty much the same thing. Dominic Robinson said it's like deja vu, once again checking into a shelter after leaving home on a rescue boat. It's what he did when he was living in New Orleans during Hurricane Katrina, an experience that taught him life-changing lessons. Survival, survival, and just staying patient and, 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 and just waiting and just kind of ride it out. That's all you can pretty much do with these hurricanes is pretty much sit tight and ride it out. The images of the past few days have drawn comparisons to the 2005 disaster that left much of New Orleans submerged. The similarities weren't lost on New Orleans Mayor Mitch Landrieu. As the anniversary of Katrina uh, hovers above us, I think all of us remember, you know, all too well where we were at that time. Uh, and all of those uh, images are uh, frighteningly familiar to all of us. Twelve years ago, more than a million people abandoned their homes, many boarding buses to Houston and taking shelter inside the Astrodome. Houston reportedly welcomed as many as a quarter of a million evacuees, and the city estimates 40,000 never moved back. How much more uneasy could you feel right now in the city of New Orleans other than saying, there but for the grace of God go I in Houston? You only think, oh, something like that will only happen once. <laughs> But it's happening again for Rachel Allen, who lost her house in New Orleans to Katrina. My family, we pretty much made Houston home. She's riding out the storm with her husband and one-year-old son. This time, her house is safe, even as the flood swallows another city around her. It's devastating to watch on the news. And even though everything you see is just terrible, you find yourself not being able to pull away from the TV. Just a very similar experience this time around as well. So far, losses from Hurricane Katrina far surpassed those from Harvey. 1,800 people lost their lives in Hurricane Katrina, which was the costliest natural disaster in U.S. history. But for those who lost everything in Houston, it'll be a long road to recovery. Margaret. Adriana, thank you. Yeah, in the words of that great philosopher Chris Rock, you want to say, that ain't right, that you go through it once and then it happens to you again when you think, that would only happen to me once in my lifetime. Truly unbelievable. I think so, too. I think wow. so, too. Yeah.